Hello everyone, it's been a while, but welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. Happy Halloween. If you celebrate as well, I sure hope you do because the FLEC is definitely in the spooky mood. This week, I'm going to take you along with me since it's been a while. So you can see what it's like here at the FLEC during the chillier fall months and the more festive times. I mean, not a lot changes, but who doesn't love a fall vlog, am I right? Right now, I'm in the trailer parking lot actually because Wade and Bones are finally coming home after their three month range of deployment and I am just overjoyed. We still have a little bit until they get here so while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go turn out Montero, do some feed, just you know help out the barn hands, and then I'm gonna make sure Bones' stall is perfect for him. So after Bones was settled in, Wade went straight off to bed, and I don't blame him. Those rocks that they call mattresses at the ranger stations, they are a pain to sleep in, so I'm sure he's happy to be on a normal bed. Now, I actually took it upon myself to make the horses some Halloween treat cookies last night, which I know is extra, but I love horses. They deserve it, right? Hey, Malibu, do you want a cookie? Yeah, I thought so. How about you, Bear? You want a cookie? I actually don't know if I'm allowed to give Malibu or Bear treats, so... Don't wrap me out to Myra or Georgia, because it's kind of too late now. I don't want to be held accountable if their horses get fat, though. Oops. You know who can get fat, though? Mr. Rainley. Hey, buddy. He wants a treat. So, of course, Mr. Fatty isn't happy about not getting a cookie, unlike his buddies, but he's just going to have to deal with it. I don't like treating him before our rides because like any ETB, he's heavily food motivated and it would be like giving a kid dessert before they finish the green beans. It's just, it's not ethical parenting with this horse. He is just, he's something. It's helmet cam, Amelia. Hey, I pray my GoPro is working. 
So, it managed to rain during the two seconds we were in the barn. So now everything is slippery and cold. And I just, I know Rainley is going to do everything in his power to get me off his back. So, well, look who's up. Hey, Wade. Yeah? Can you film me? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Well, now we have a buddy with us, Rainley. I'm begging you to please watch your voice, Terry Ridley. Really hope this is recording, because she'll kick my ass if it isn't. I'm so scared she's gonna slip. Well, that was rough. I think he just threw a shoe. Uh, let me check. Yeah, it's gone. I'll go look for it. Good one, Rainley. Okay, so that was unfortunate, and Rainley did in fact lose a shoe. He's not hurt or anything, thank God, but now I gotta empty my wallet, which I mean, not a big shock when you're in equestrian anyway. It's like these horses hurt themselves every five seconds, so. Today was pretty mundane, but I'll catch up with you guys on Wednesday since tomorrow is also going to be boring, so I'll see you then. Everybody, I just got finished with morning feed and now I think I'm gonna head to our second property in Furgrove Not because I want to work. Don't get me wrong, but because I want a latte and there's Yorvik books in Furgrove, so put two and two together <laughs> Latte has been acquired, so now I'm just going to head to the barn over here that we have in Fergrove, and I'm going to say hi to Rowie and Dash, and then maybe I'll see what Wade's doing, because I know he came up here to fix something. Hi, Rowie. How's the drain fixing going? No. Nah. Figured. So I actually have a lesson in like half an hour with Dash and then one of my Hunter students, so I'm, I guess I'm heading home and we're gonna get that out of the way. Then afterwards, I need to ride Teddy since his mouth is feeling better and he's literally been out of the loop since July, like nobody has ridden this horse since July. So I have no idea how he's gonna act. I don't know, I guess we'll just have to see. He's a good boy, so I doubt anything detrimental will happen. The hunter lesson went well, and now, well, now I'm obviously on Teddy, and so far he's been perfectly fine. I mean, I really didn't expect anything else from him. I'm going to keep this ride short and sweet, just because, like I said, my man, he has been on stall rest for months now. He was perfect, of course. A little hesitant to cant or anything like that, but I mean, it's totally fine. I'm gonna keep working with him this week, maybe, and then pass him off to Georgia, and then she can do better groundwork with him than I can then. I just, I don't know. Okay, last task of the day, and a heavier one, honey plant. 
Um, unfortunately, he's been at our on-site vet for like the past few weeks. He's being monitored 24 hours a day because he honestly, he's not doing too well. And the official cause is laminitis, a serious episode, flare up of it, whatever you want to call it. The prognosis is poor, the vet said, and we're all just kind of holding on to this hope that he's going to pull through it. Considering his age though, it it's really hard for a horse to come out of something to this degree, but... The most, like I said, we can do is just wish for the best and then make him comfortable and then just hope it gets better. Happy Friday, everyone. So yesterday was Thursday. I didn't vlog. It was just mainly lessons with like little kids, so nothing too interesting, and then paperwork, and then Brainly got his shoe put back on, so it's just a normal day not worth talking about. Today is pretty, I don't want to say mundane, but there's only one lesson today, and George is teaching it, so I'm off scot-free from lessons somehow. There hasn't been a lot this week, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> My main concern today is packing for this Halloween charity show some of the staff and I are attending this weekend. Then I'm going to decorate the farm more for our Halloween party next week. Then tonight, Wade and I are going to go to a pumpkin patch, sunflower farm kind of thing to get many pumpkins for the party as well. It's an open barn party, so everybody's going to be there. And I want the like little kids to have like little pumpkins to paint. And we're going to do mounted games, stuff like that. It'll be fun. So first, I'm going to wrap Rainley's legs and then lunge Dash because they are both going to the show this weekend. And Dash, he is just... It could literally be like 70 degrees outside and he will find a way to be fresh. So I need to, he needs to be lunged. Stepping out of the shadow in my room Caught between cowboy clouds and misty moon Silver dress, sparkle eyes, crystal blue Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Talk for hours and never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun So breathe 